Good morning, Monday. Schoolgirl Sampler Monday. Isn't that exciting? I'm excited. These blocks went together whippity swip. Swip quick. Lickety quick. So, um, this is where we're at. If you get a chance today to go over to the Insiders page, Kathy has all her blocks done. 72 with her center. They're not all put together because we're still looking at them. Uh, but today we're going to be on block 61 and 62. 61's the hourglass. 62 is the framed pinwheel. And here they are. There they are. There's Cappy's two. You could like uh, get hypnotized by that one. Because it's a little funky because of that pattern. But I like the way that she put the two. And she's been doing this all along. She'll make a blue one and then she'll make a pink one. And then she'll know that they're balanced. And I think that's pretty clever. Uh, <clears throat> this is a nice uh, pinwheel because this pinwheel really shows up because she used the same color. Not the same fabric, so it still has interest, but she's used the same color. And so this pinwheel really stands out, and I really like that. I think that really adds a new dimension to that block. So, uh, I'm going to have to uh, steal that idea sometime. And then here are my Kim Deal ones. Speaking of Kim Deal, we got in Kim Deal's new book and then we sold it out the day we got it in. So, I think we're ordering more. So, if you want uh, Kim Deal's new book, just uh, give us a call or wait till we get it in. It should be maybe another week or so. But anyway, I really like the way I uh, use my border fabric here, uh, and I cut it, instead of the lines going that way, I think it's fun making the lines go out like that. And um, I was trying to pick up this little teal color uh, on the red inside here, and then repeated the gold with my background. And then uh, the red of the stars in here and the red of the stars in there. And I just kind of tried to tie that all together. Um, and then this one, I hadn't used this background yet. And it was pretty large scale background. So I thought this was the perfect opportunity. It wasn't too light. Uh, it's a little bit darker background. Uh, so I really felt like I could use it in this block and, and really uh, get the benefit of it being the bigger scale background. And of course, you know, I love green, so I wanted to work that background in somewhere in the block. So those are the uh, <clears throat> blocks. If you have a bigger scale and you want to use it, this would be the uh, week to use it. Now, before I go any further, I've been meaning to show you this for like three weeks or something. My friend Donita got me this. I think she was at some craft show or something. It is just adorable. It's a little wooden bowl with two holes in it and then one of those ponytail things. But what you do with it is you put it on your finger. And if you're like at your ironing board or something and you need to take a few pins with you, you know, you can just take them. Or if you're like traveling and you're in the car or on the plane and you need to take, uh, keep track of your pins and needles, this would be the perfect little uh, accessory to have. So thank you, Donita. I love it. So I've been keeping it here. For, I've had it for three weeks meaning to show it to you. And that's just how my brain works. I've just fog for brains. So anyway. <clears throat> There's that. I'm going to put it right back on there so I don't lose it. So let's start off with uh, talking about the framed pinwheel. On these half square triangles, now you know that we sew them before we uh, uh, cut them apart. You know, they start out as squares. Well, in the instructions, she wants you to uh, cut these at an eighth inch increment. And if you do that and you miss sew or the fabric slips, you're going to be in trouble because that's the exact size. So I want you to bump that one eighth increment up to one quarter inch increment for A and B. This is both A, the dark one, uh, the light one is A, the dark one is B. 
you have to cut two of each and I want you to bump that up instead of cutting it the increment plus an eighth I want you to uh, cut it a fourth that'll give you a little insurance you know we love that quilters insurance and again we're gonna if we didn't have our magic tape we'd have to draw the line from uh, corner to corner and then um, go ahead and sew a quarter inch on each side of the line but because we have our magic tape we just lay the corner down a quarter inch away and lay the corner down here a quarter inch away from our thread line or our needle line. And we sew that on both sides. So just going to turn that around and sew again. You're going to do this to both sets. I've already done it to one set so you wouldn't have to sit and watch me. And then, when we square this up, it is not a half an inch increment and not a whole inch increment. It's a weirdo increment. And so what I've done is on my whole increments, I don't know if we've ever showed this on uh, the ruler or not, but I'm going to get a background so you can kind of see here. So on the ruler, on the full increments, one, two, three, four, there are these lines that go down the side, and they're eighth inch increments. So if I wanted to do one and an eighth, I would put my seam line on the one and an eighth. And I would use my arrows, my arrow stickers, we've talked about those before, and I would place them right where I want to my seam line to go. And then I would uh, use that as a guide and go ahead and cut. Now you can see, because I have added, instead of being an eighth inch, I've added a quarter inch. I don't have very much. But there's what I have left. So see, I wouldn't have that if I hadn't bumped that up to an eighth of an inch. And I really like having just a little bit extra so that I can size that up and know it's true to form. True with my ruler because I've taken the time to square that up. And... Uh, <clears throat> I don't want so much that I'm wasteful, but I can, I can bear to waste that little bit there. And then I'm cutting my corn kernels off. Almost all the corn has been uh, harvested uh, in the fields. And uh, so they're getting ready to add the fertilizer for next year and plow it up and let it settle for the winter here in Indiana, I don't know. There may be some of you who have never seen a corn stalk before. Uh, my friend uh, Mary Robinson, she lives in uh, Nevada. I don't know. Well, I know she's seen a corn stalk because she's come to visit me. But I don't, I don't think there probably are corn stalks in Nevada. Maybe there are. I don't know. I really don't know. So, we don't, we uh, don't have tobacco farms here. Uh, those are all in Kentucky and ten Tennessee, more south. We don't have the weather here for tobacco. Uh, and so, we mostly grow here in Indiana soybeans and uh, corn. Soybeans and corn, that's what our main agricultural purpose. We are good farm country though. Okay. Alrighty, I'm going to go on to my, uh, my hourglass and you know how I like to lay things out. So my blue is going to be my dark. Now when you cut this, you're going to have enough for two blocks. You will actually be cutting four blue ones and four, um, 
well, they're blue and green in the book, but mine are blue and gray. You would actually be cutting four of these, so I could actually make two of these blocks. And if your design is going to call for more than 72 blocks, and you need to make a few extra, this would be one a good one to make. Now, I'm going to pick this up. Let me show you this. I'm going to pick this up, and I know right here is my seam line. Okay, because I'm going to do this as my seam line. But I'm going to turn it so that I am putting this edge in my sewing machine, not the tip of the triangle. I want that flat edge. And this one has already been oversized. No need to oversize this. Cut it exactly what it says. Um, because she's already given you some uh, extra on this. So why some gets extra on some and not on others, I don't know. Can't answer that. And now it's time to press open. <clears throat> I'm telling you, these two blocks are super easy, super fast. It uh, doesn't take any time to do them. This hourglass block uh, is a really nice alternate block. Makes a fun pattern if you use this as your, not your main block, but your alternate block. Uh, it really gives a, a unique look to your quilt for any kind of blocks that you're setting if you use the uh, hourglass block as your alternate block it uh, it's a nice filler oh better open these up too <clears throat> Boy, have we learned how to make half square triangles through this process, don't you think? We've made a lot of half square triangles. We've made a lot of flying geese. Sad that it's coming to an end. December 19th is going to be our last day together. Uh, but right before the holidays, so that's good. We won't have to. We can put it aside until after the holidays, and then we can think about how we're going to set it. <clears throat> I've already got some ideas for mine. I know exactly how I'm doing my Peter uh, blocks. Uh, I've already got the fabric I'm going to set it with. So I'm excited about that. But it's my, it's my Kim Deal. Now we have some Kim Deal fabric coming in December. What was the book you were talking about? We got sold out and we're going to get more? Yeah, her newest book. I forget it? what it was called. Is it uh, Scrap? Scrap is happiness or something? no no, no. Okay. It, it's something twice okay uh, because I think it's it's a two step block or something I can't two remember step. hey Nancy could you look that up for me what Kim Deal's new book is called that'd be awesome Nancy just walked by so I'm just gonna uh, ask her if she'll do that she's nice she probably would do it for us. Um, you can go to her, uh, Kim Deal's Facebook page. She's been advertising it. I know, I've seen it, and but I can't remember the name. And she's been doing the I've seen that too, but I just uh -huh. can't remember the name. Scrappiness is Happiness is the new Lori Holt book. Oh, I was getting them confused. Yeah. I'm glad you remembered what that was. Yeah. But this one I just got, I just took it home Friday, and I didn't have a chance to look at it this weekend, so... I'm surprised you didn't look at it on the way home well, I while you were driving. Well, I was here making sure that it was just, <laughs> you know, as scrumptious as I thought it was going to be. But I want to read it, you know. Is there a Kim Deal book you don't have? I don't think so. Okay. No, I think I have them all. I like how you thought, oh, I, I had to make sure I looked through it to make sure it was as scrumptious as I thought it was. Yeah. And it That's did disappoint. Hilarious. It did not disappoint, I'll tell you that. And, of course, I don't know how she does it, but she didn't some unique very unique designs i think it's her color palette it Dawn. is her palette it's it, her color palette it's beautiful i love it it's it's a bridge between civil war and modern or you know more traditional Mod did you say civil war modern war <laughs> modern war yeah those modern wars 
But I think it is, um, yeah, a good bridge. It's that color palette. It's gorgeous. I love her colored palette. Okay, she's... Oh, she brought oh, a look, picture. She got a picture for me. Extra credit Simple for Nancy. Simple double dipped quilts. Hold on. Now look at that. Wait, give me a second here. Let me get the title. Okay, and then... Okay, we're looking at the quilts now. Yeah, so I love this. Get closer. Yeah, but she, this is the one she's doing the uh, sew along with on her Ooh. Facebook page. Hey, that would be a good one. But I really love this double leaf. Double leaf. It's got a star in the leaf. Would you look at that? Isn't that just... And look at these humongous flying geese, but the, the part in the middle is all pieced. Whoa. Isn't that fun? Then a good old-fashioned log cabin. And then here's Look something for Look at that red. The, Love yeah. her reds. And then there's something for the appliqueers. Kind of a flower coxcomb kind of looking thing, don't you think? Or that echinacea. Yeah. You could, whatever, however you say however that. However you say that. And uh, the lemonades look pretty good, too. Yeah, and got the blueberries, yeah. strawberries. Yeah, she knows how to entertain, doesn't she? Are those cherries and blackberries? I think so, yeah. And Dang. peaches. We need, yeah. to, we need to get an invitation to her house. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, you work on that, Dawn. Okay. Cam. Okay, here we go. So I'm laying out my pinwheel, I'm, and now it becomes a four patch. So I'm going to pick it up, make sure. If you feel like you need to pin, go ahead. Uh, Are I'm you going to pin? No, I'm going to hold it with my hand. You're what? Yeah, I'm just going to hold it right here. Did you hear that, you guys? Yeah. We talked about it. You weren't here last week, but we talked about me getting braver or lazier. We couldn't decide which one it was. <laughs> well, what did you say it was? Well, I said it was lazier. <laughs> okay. So here we go. I don't know. It must be pretty brave of you to not pretty use brave. pens. Pretty you know, brave. you know, you know why you have to hold it. Why? It's because people come in here and steal your pens, and you oh, got yeah. you don't have any push yeah, pens. Yeah, I don't have hardly any pens <laughs> left. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, press these open. You know, a little four patch isn't doesn't take too long to make. And when they're half square triangles, they make the cutest pinwheel. And of course, this pinwheel is small. It's not. It's not going to be four and a half inches. So we're going to have to frame it out. And when we do that, when we frame that out, we uh, we'll put cornerstones in. So of course, I've got to match up these points. There's a point. There's a point. Get the point. So I'm going to put that right in there. You've seen me do this before. Then I'm going to put that one in there, stick it all the way through, and then bring the ends together. Peter's back from his vacation. Did you go anyplace exotic, Peter? Nope. No, it didn't. Just probably to the horse farm. Yep, the horse farm and knitting. And That's the knitting all I worked farm. on. The horse farm and the knitting farm. That Jessica, she was telling me how she cleans the fur. I call it fur. I know it's not called fur. The wool that comes off the animal and how she has to comb it. And Jessica did? It. Yeah. Our Jessica? Yeah. It was fascinating. I, uh, the other day, I was on YouTube and I was curious how cross stitch fabric was made. Oh boy! Yeah, it's did you go down a rabbit hole? It was pretty interesting. It's, it's made very from a interesting. Weed. It's very interesting. <laughs> it was made that from is, a weed. linen is the most interesting fabric. It's made from flax. Yeah, it is the most interesting fabric. And it's so soft. But boy, do they beat it to death. They sure do. You know, a big old field only yields a little bit. Maybe that's why cross stitch fabric costs so much. Linen, linen, a good linen is expensive. Yeah. A lot of labor involved. It's yeah. labor intensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to size this before I press it open. Did you read about how they have the little kids walk through the fields to, um, 
in the springtime to weed it because the plants will just spring back up, but you can only do it while the plants are young. No, I didn't read that. It's historical. It's more back in the day type uh, of thing, but it's, oh, yeah, it's got I a didn't... wonderful history. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know, I'm going to size this up. The book tells you what size. And again, so happy that that has that middle line and so much easier to go ahead and square that up while it's folded. And my, my um, thing just slipped on me. You know, I know where you can get some ruler dots, Dawn. Yeah, I should have put some on here. This is a newer ruler for me and I should have put them on here. Okay, just be extra careful, Dawn. This is long as you keep your pinky out of the way. Yeah. We're, we're all yeah. good. Yeah. Of course, you might want to like to hear me scream. Some people like uh, horror movies. Oh, my dentist. Oh! <laughs> he, what, what did your dentist do? He recommended a movie to me. Oh, he did. You didn't Evidently, watch it, did you? he doesn't know that I'm a homework kind of gal. Oh, boy. Because it was um, Law Abiding Citizen. It was the most bloody, gory. This guy cuts this other guy up one little piece at a time, and he keeps giving him stuff to keep him alive so he feels it. It was disgusting. Don't watch it! Don't watch it, Ethel. Don't watch it. Law Abiding Citizen. So I thought the day before. It's an old movie. I thought it was either the day before Halloween. Uh huh. You were here, I think. Oh, I was at my desk, and I thought, oh, hey, I'll go watch that, that Hannibal Lecter scene. Uh -huh. And I was eating my lunch, and I was having mac and cheese. Uh -huh. And you know what? It didn't appeal to me like I thought it would. No. I had to turn it off before I got to the part that I turned it on to watch. Because <laughs> you were eating ham and cheese. Uh -huh. And if you did that in ketchup, it would have been a scene. Uh -huh. So anyway, here, look at how cute those look together. But I'm going to jazz this one up by putting uh, the frame around it and I'm going to frame it in this orange and red. Of course you are. Yeah, isn't that going to be fun? That looks awesome. Uh-huh. Now, if you if you need to square this up, it oh. squares to whatever size this is, okay? So it uh, mine came out pretty good. So I'm not going to have to square up. So just going to put one on at a time. It, and I am going to pin because I do not want this flipping up under my feed dogs or my foot. So I'm going to do that. Now tomorrow at this time I'll be at Moda. Going to the warehouse. Going to do some work. Then Tammy and I are going to craft all weekend. So would you call yourself a warehouse worker? Uh, I'll be in the sewing room. <laughs> I won't be in the warehouse. There's five warehouses, you know. I'll be in the sewing so, room. Okay. So picture this. It's 2022. Right. And Dawn's in the Moda sewing room with how many desks are there sewing stations? Two. Oh, it's just yours and Tammy's. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was. You thought everybody was going to be there. I don't know why I thought. I saw a picture of it, Dawn, but yeah, I didn't. Yeah, it's just two, back I know. to back, face okay. to face. I know you spent a day fixing it up or I setting did. it up. I did. I did. And then another day organizing it. And you're going to sew all week? I'm going to sew You just want to get week. away from the snow. I want to get away and uh, have some me time. But, uh, you know, work at Moda is really not work. It's more like fun, fun, fun. Of course, if I had to do it day in and day out, this, it'd become a job. But well, you do sew day in and day well, out. Well, I do, I with do. With Moda fabric. I do, I do. Is that work or fun, or both? It's both, it's both. Sometimes when the deadline's really Ugh. coming down on you, Ugh. it's work. You feel it the next uh, day. Uh, you do, you feel it. Of course, you know, I'm... I've already sewn on my uh, cornerstones here, and now I'm lining those up with my border. I'm folding that back, making sure I've got that um, lined up. 
And then I am going to put a pin here in the middle because I don't want that seam on the back to flip up. Picky that way. Just so picky that way. Yeah, I've been making hourglass blocks for days and days and days. Just like this, only blocks. they're little. They're two two inch ones instead of this big. Oh, two inch. Uh huh. These two inch. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So they're gonna sew in a dimension I have. But it's fun because they're Christmas colors, so it kind of gets you in the mood. You put the Christmas music on. You invite Nancy over because she's the Christmas queen. She was so happy it snowed this weekend here. I think we got about three inches, and she was in hog heaven. Oh, I girl, forgot to talk to her about that. She, she was on Facebook just cheering up and down. I so, um, I sat outside and drank my coffee and ate, had breakfast outside while it snowed. It was oh, so beautiful. Chloe loves the snow. I just oh, sat out there for a, a good minute. She spends all day out in the snow. She just loves it. She got a new sweater this weekend. It's just so adorable. So anyway, yeah, she loves the snow. My other two grumpy boys, not so much, but they don't mind it, but Chloe loves it. She'll go to the airport with me tomorrow. Is she going to board the plane with you? Five o'clock. Oh, I wish she could. I wish Don't, she could. Can't you put her in your... You, okay, you can. carry your sewing machine on and uh -huh. put her in your carry-on sewing machine Yeah, I don't carry case. I don't take a sewing machine. They have the sewing machines there. So I could pretend it was a sewing machine. Yeah, this is just a sewing machine that makes noises. Woof, woof. <laughs> it, I've got it programmed to make barking noises. <laughs> you can't, I mean, you can travel you can take with pets. your animals. Yeah. yeah, you have to do that all ahead of time, you know, get the proper papers. You don't want to be like, uh, yeah, you don't want your dog Amber confiscated. Heard. Amber Heard, she's in trouble because she didn't declare her animals in Australia. Oh, they're going to come after her because she, she lied back, about so it. So is she back in court? <laughs> well, she's claiming she doesn't have citizenship in the United States anymore because she doesn't have a residence here. So, I don't know how. You know, there's some people who just know how to work the system. And that's all I got to say about that. Okay, there they are. My Peter Blocks. Those They're, are stunning, Dawn. Aren't those pretty? Absolutely stunning. And then my Tula Pink Blocks. And then Cappy's Tula Pink Blocks. Did I say Tula Pink? Yeah, you were, Kim you were saying these were Tula Kim Pink. Kim Deal. And these were... Okay. Kim Deal. Okay. That's these, what you said. These are my Peter blocks. These are my Kim Deal blocks. And these are uh, Cappy's uh, Tula Pink blocks. So, another good week. They went together lickety split, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, really fast. I went back, I thought, oh, we've made this block before. Well, we haven't. We've made it with half square triangles and it kind of looks the same. But uh, we haven't actually made the hourglass block before. So, and these were weird increments. The, the, this was a weird, uh, you know, uh, measurement for us this time. So, you know, I think as she wrote the book, she uh, wanted it, she wanted to give us a little more meat to chew on. So we did. Make sure that you uh, come and call or come and reserve your copy of your new Kim Deal book. And uh, I hope you love it as much as I do. I just can't hardly wait. There's two quilts in there that aren't even shown on the cover that I just have got to be my go-to the next thing I do. So, um, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not going to be here Friday, so no video on Friday. And, uh, not that you're used to Friday videos, but, uh, we, when I get back, it'll be Letters to Santa. And that'll be our last Letters to Santa. So, uh, we're winding the year up, you know. Have you got your Christmas shopping started? 
Um, I've got a couple ideas, but I haven't done any. Maybe I'll do some of that while I'm in Texas. Hey, that sounds like a plan, doesn't it? So, um, I'll miss you guys while I'm gone. If I can remember to take pictures, I will. And uh, Peter will get this uploaded today. And happy sewing. Bye.